Hi there, Coach Sage of SageRunning.com here. The quick training talk on injury prevention, uh, treatment of a common running ailment. It's basically uh, plantar fasciitis pain, the technical term. Uh, a lot of people, it manifests itself as this pain kind of on the bottom of your arch. Uh, it could be caused by different things. Uh, some people have to wear special orthotics and inserts, but a lot of times this is a you know fibrous tissue, a fibrous band of tissue that runs under the arch of your foot. It usually gets irritated where it kind of attaches to the heel bone. So it's a common thing. It hurts uh, first thing when you wake up in the morning. It hurts after run. Sometimes when you run it, after you warm it up, it, it starts to alleviate itself, but it could really nag at you over time. And if it's something you don't, if you ignore it, it's going to get worse. Uh, it could last for a really long time. You don't want to get big micro tears uh, in the plantar fascia. Uh, blood flow to there is a little restricted, so it's harder to cure. So better to try to prevent it and treat it right when it starts uh, or, you know, prevent it in the first place so you don't have that kind of pain. But uh, there are a couple different treatment modalities. And again, it's caused a lot of times by uh, tight calf muscle. Tight calf muscle uh, could be caused by your running form, your type of running shoes. If you have too flimsy uh, shoes that don't have enough uh, basically support for your arch, sometimes that could also cause problems as well as if you add mileage to your training or you're adding in hills to your training that really puts a strain on the plantar fascia. Uh, but tight calves are the first thing we'll target. So, uh, you know, some people in extreme cases will have to wear a night splint that actually slowly stretches your calf at night. It's very uncomfortable. You'd sleep with it in your bed, uh, a little more expensive. Uh, the best thing that I would do first is to, you know, do a general calf stretch after your run, but also really focus on uh, massaging your calf, whether you're using a, a copper sager or you're using a roller uh, to try to loosen up the calf muscles, loosen up the calf, uh, flex the foot uh, so that you're kind of stretching it. You should feel a light stretch and you could feel that pull even under your foot, under the plantar fascia. It also stretches the Achilles tendon, which is also a very sensitive area. So. A uh, really good preventive measure is the calf stretch, calf treatment, uh, things like that. Now, if the pain starts hurting, uh, it is always good to, to try to rest up, avoid hills, avoid mileage increases, avoid speed work. Uh, that obviously puts more strain and torque on the, the plantar fascia. But also uh, after a run uh, or you know anytime during the day, you could basically uh, massage your foot, massage that area, get blood flow going to the plantar fascia. And uh, you see here I'm using a lacrosse ball. I got it real cheap, a couple bucks from a sporting goods store. Uh, it's a nice firm uh, and, and round. You just roll it, self-massage under the afflicted area, under your arch. Uh, you could also use a golf ball maybe. Tennis ball is a little too soft sometimes. Uh, you could also use this roller, a special roller I got from Roll Recovery, Boulder Base uh, company plug there. But, uh, you know, anything like that, uh, hand massage as well. You dig your thumbs into there if you want. Um, but there are different products that you could use. Uh, you know, lacrosse ball is very, very effective constantly rolling that uh, at night, stretching the calf, uh, working on that. Another thing is to is to try to strengthen your arch. Try to strengthen your arch. Uh, you know, it's a lot of it's caused by imbalances, muscle imbalances, also tight calves, but a weak arch. Uh, so you need to strengthen that. So, you know, wiggle your toes around, try to like scrunch up a t-shirt or wet uh, washcloth or something on the floor. Practice picking up things with your feet, uh, barefoot feet. Practice picking up things, scrunching your toes together, really working uh, those tendons around your ankles as well uh, to just try to strengthen the arch. Try to strengthen the arch uh, and get it to be more resistant to these little micro tears. And you know, that being said, when you're when you're running, uh, the type of shoe you run in also could depend on that. A lot of people, uh, you know, they go too minimal or they go all barefoot running too fast, too soon, and uh, they end up tearing their plantar fascia or you know, running on up hills uh, puts a lot of strain on the plantar fascia. So, you know, I change up my shoes all the time. I have to change through different Hoka models. Uh, the Arahi, for example, I've been running in more if I feel like my arch is getting a little jacked up because uh, it alleviates some of that stress, the stability, the J-frame technology. It's got the arch support in it uh, that, you know, when your foot pronates, when it comes down, it kind of collapses on the arch and it could really pull on that. So if you have some aches and pains, uh, good to look at your shoes, check your shoes, make sure you're in the right type of shoe uh, for your foot, but also practice these exercises. It's about uh, you know developing strength and injury resistance, hopefully, uh, so you could enjoy the sport more and get out there pain free. But thanks so much for subscribing on here. Again, uh, you can check out our website sagerunning.com as well as check out my business partner and co-coach Sandy Nightpavers uh, running YouTube site Running Well to Believe right there. 
uh, and definitely stay tuned for more via 2 Max Productions.